After this, Jesus went out and saw a tax collector by the name of Levi sitting at his tax booth. Follow me, Jesus said to him, and Levi got up, left everything, and followed him. Then Levi held a great banquet for Jesus at his house, and a large crowd of tax collectors and others were eating with them. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law who belonged to their sect complained to his disciples, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered them, It is not the healthy who need a doctor but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance. In our lives, there are moments akin to encountering someone extraordinary in the most unexpected of places. Picture this. We're walking down a bustling street when suddenly someone calls out our name. We halt, taken aback. No, it's not a co-worker, nor an old high school friend we haven't seen for years. It's Jesus saying, join me. Doesn't this sound like the most unexpected invitation to an exclusive dinner we could hardly anticipate? Let's start with the main character of this story. Levi is a tax collector, thus someone who, back in the day, was socially less popular than today's grumpy traffic cop with a tricked-out speed gun. Yet it is he who receives an irresistible offer. Jesus doesn't care for public opinion, doesn't ask for a resume or a motivational letter, doesn't check social media for any dirt on Levi. He simply sees potential in him. This reminds us that in God's eyes, each of us has unlimited potential, even if our social standing isn't the best. Moving on to the reception scene. Levi, in a gesture of gratitude, throws a party. Imagine this scene. Jesus, seated at a table with people most of society would steer clear of. It's like inviting both disco polo fans and opera aficionados to a party, hoping they'll all get along. Yet Jesus shows that at his table, there's a place for everyone. The Messiah shows us that our gatherings and our tables should be open to all, even to those we find hard to like. When the Pharisees start to lob words of criticism, Jesus responds with a simple yet profound message. Instead of engaging in futile debate, he hurls a sentence like a javelin. Christ reminds us that he didn't come to join a mutual admiration club, but to reach those who truly need his medicine. This is about more than just tax collectors and Pharisees, but all of us. For who among us doesn't need a band-aid for life scrapes? Or perhaps someone needs an antibiotic to cure an infection of chronic sin. Levi's story teaches us that God doesn't look at who we are, what we have, or how trendy we are. He sees our hearts and what we can become. Life with Jesus is not an event with a dress code. It's a celebration to which everyone is invited just as they are. But beware, the ticket in is a heart open to his grace. Let this story remind us that in God's eyes, each of us is a VIP. Even if the world tries to convince us, we don't have an invite to such a party. All it takes is to respond to his call, and then Jesus will take care of the rest. Let's conclude our reflections with a prayer. Lord Jesus, you came to call not the righteous, but sinners to repentance and collaboration. Open our hearts to your word and grace. Help us be instruments of your love in a world in need of acceptance and forgiveness. Amen. <laughs>